All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rafah Hodash. Double honor to the Apostles, the Great Millstone, teaching us, more of truth, born to buy more well, and peace and blessings, so for like the nation of Israel. So, brother from the GMS, I'm finally came back from another video, back with the Lord's one edifying lesson to edify the, uh, the lambs of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, uh, we're going to get into uh, seeking the Lord. You know, seeking Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, should be our um, main focus, you know, as Israelites, you know, which I'm, I'm going to start off with that. This is, um, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 4. Um, <coughs> this is uh, Baruch, chapter 4. I'm going to start at 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. You know, the children, you know, like I told you right here in um, Exodus 4 and um, 4 and 22, and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, Israel is my son. Even my firstborn. So when it says Brute 4 and 25, my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you. The children is talking about the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites. You know, and the wrath of Yahweh by Shema Shai has come upon us, you know, uh, for, our, uh, uh, for our disobedience. You know, the Lord brought upon us uh, this great evil. You know, upon his uh, people, because uh, we moved the Holy One of Israel unto unto wrath. We we provoked the Most High unto jealousy. You know, and jealousy is the rage of a man. You know, the by Shema Shai being that man of war. You know, a jealous power. You know, he was moved to to to, to rage against his people, moved to wrath, and we have to suffer our punishment patiently. You know, now we have this grace period to get right. You know, to, to, to get things in order. It says, My children suffer patiently the wrath that's come upon you from the Most High. For thy enemies have persecuted thee. You know, our enemies being Esau, Edom chiefly, the so called white man, you know, Psalms 83, these other nations, these see the nations. And they have persecuted us. You know, like it tells you, and um, it says, Real quick, um, um, you know, not to make too many points, Isaiah 42 and 24, who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers, did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned, for they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. Therefore, he poured upon them. Therefore he poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle, and it had set and it had set him on fire round about, yet he knew if, yet he knew it not, and it burned him, yet he laid it not too hard. So because you know we sinned against Yah by Shema Shai, you know, we um we we moved the Holy One of Israel. Unto anger, you know, to wrath, you know, he delivers us unto our enemies, you see, which have persecuted us, you see, Brute 4 and 25, and it reads, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction. Yeah, shortly, you know, through uh, the remnant waking up, you know, the spirit of life enter into us, and us standing upon our feet, like I tell you in Wisdom of Psalm in the fifth chapter, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Against the face of such has afflicted them and made no account of his labors. You know, who shall be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation? You know, because the Lord is raising up his elect, his remnant, who would what? You know, let's get that. This is Isaiah chapter 10, uh, verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more stay upon him that smote them. To stay upon mean to lean upon. We're no longer staying upon and leaning upon our enemies for support, you know, for help, you know, but shall stay upon the Holy One of Israel in truth, you see. So we're going through our afflictions, uh, patiently waiting for the return of our Lord, crying out to him daily, 
you know, asking the Lord to forgive us and to deliver us out of this wicked, simple kingdom called Babylon the Great, you know, and we're, we're acknowledging our sins, you know, and the angels of heaven rejoice when one sinner turning from, uh, from iniquity, you know, and, and, re and repents, you see? And, you know, the angels in heaven are rejoicing. That means the Heavenly Father is rejoicing. So those who repent, the Most High, He's happy at that, you know? And He's going to uh, deliver them out of this hellhole, you see? And we're being sanctified through the truth, which is this knowledge, just the 100% truth that's been given, you know, for us to know in these days to receive salvation, which is coming out of the Apostle of the Great Millstone, you know, whom the Lord, you know, <laughs> The real trailblazers, you know, you know, shout out to the brother in Chicago. This is on um, brute four and 25, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Yeah, the head is going to become the tail. You see, it says, and the tail is going to become the head. That's us. It says, my delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemy. Be a good comfort, my children. Oh, my children, and cry unto Yah by Shema Shai. Yeah, so we should be crying unto the Lord. You know, we should be, be crying to Yah by Shema Shai for him to come back and deliver us, you know, to protect us, you know, because uh, the Esau Edom, you know, he has a wicked plan. Scripture say, Arise, O Lord, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. The wicked have laid a snare for us, you know, to fall there upon, you know, this, this system, this pit, you know, and us who are captive, we, 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 we are hastened to be loose from this pit, you see, from this hellhole that we are in, Babylon the Great, you know, this, uh, this rat race, you know, uh, this hamster, hamster wheel race that we are on, you see. This is be a good comfort. So the, the scriptures is meant to comfort us, you know. So how do you be a good comfort? You got to cleave on to the uh, the comforter, you know, which is this knowledge. This is a First Thessalonians chapter four, verse eighteen. Wherefore comfort one another with this with these words, you know. So this is the comforter. You know, that Yahweh by Shema Shah has given us, you know, these holy scriptures, you know. This is um, Isaiah 28 and 12. To whom, uh, to whom he said, this is the rest wherein ye may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they will not hear. So this is the rest wherein ye may cause the weary to rest, you know. Are you know weary in their minds? They were they were faint hearted, you know. They were weak. They were dead. They were without the knowledge. You see, and this is the this is the uh, the refreshing. This is this is what uh, when we heard these words. This is what uh, activated us, pure stirred up our pure minds by way of remembrance. You know, got you know. So our minds were, were refreshed via the word, via the scriptures. You know, we found comfort in that. We were finding comfort in this knowledge, the knowledge of the future, that this ain't the end all be all, that the kingdom of heaven is on its way. Brute 4 and 27, be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto Yahweh by Shema Shai. For ye shall be remembered, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Yeah, we're being remembered now. You know, the Lord is, is, is showing his face unto us. It says, I will go and return to my place to they acknowledge their offense and their affliction. They shall seek me early. So Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, wants us to acknowledge our offense and to seek his face. You know, the face of the Lord is this, these scriptures. You see, verse 28. For as it were your mind to go astray from Yahweh by Shema Shai, so being returned, seek him ten times more. So we went astray from seeking our power. We went astray from seeking Yahweh by Shema Shai. So now that we have this grace period, you know, now that we have this time, we're supposed to be seeking our power ten times more. You see? But uh, with that, Lord's willing, you were edified, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, just seek the Lord. You know, why, while, while you still have this, 
lot of time while you still have this grace period to get right. What I'm without mistake, shalom.